Hi, my name is David Morrison. I'm a NASA space scientist, and I'd like to talk to you briefly about Comet Elenin. Now, this little comet is nothing special except that you probably know on the internet there's all kinds of wild stories saying that it's going to hurt us or it threatens us or you should be afraid of Comet Elenin. I think you'll realize that that is not true if I take a moment to tell you what a comet is. A comet is a member of the solar system, a very small member, only a mile or two across generally, that spends most of its time far from the sun in the deep freeze of outer space, but whose orbit occasionally brings it in close to the sun. When it gets close to the sun, the heat outgasses material, water vapor, carbon dioxide, dust, and produces a huge, very tenuous cloud so that you can't even see the little nucleus inside. And this leads to all sorts of misunderstandings that somehow it's growing in size. Well, well the gas cloud is, but not the comet. There are also strange stories about its orbit. Uh, people say it's changing its orbit, it's changing its speed, it's changing its direction. Well, it stays exactly on its orbit. But in following the orbit around the sun, under the gravitation of the sun, of course, it's constantly changing its speed and direction. It's doing just what it should do. Now, consider this little nucleus only a mile or two across. We've not had a good look at the nucleus of Comet Elenin, but we have sent spacecraft to comets in the past. The biggest was Comet Halley, photographed here by the European Johto spacecraft. That's about 10 miles across. One of the smallest is called Hartley, photographed by a NASA spacecraft a year ago. That's only a little over a mile across. These are interesting to astronomers, but they pose no danger to any of us. The most strange claim, and one that's gotten a lot of attention, is that somehow Comet Elenin was responsible for the big earthquake in Japan last March. There's no way a comet could cause an earthquake. In fact, there's no way any celestial object can trigger an earthquake. The Japan earthquake was slippage on a major fault, a boundary between plates that make up the Earth's crust that releases, releases a lot of energy, and, and this happens repeatedly. In fact, that fault is one of the most active faults on Earth, although this earthquake was exceptionally large. I can assure you the comet had nothing to do with it. Some people say, well, this isn't even a comet. It's something massive, a brown dwarf, perhaps, which would be a, a small star with 100 times the mass of Jupiter. Well, that's simply impossible. First, the very fact that it has this extended atmosphere and tail shows that it has low gravity. If it were a massive high gravity object, the gas couldn't escape and we wouldn't see any of that. If it were a massive object, it would really be screwing around with the orbits of the planets as it came through the inner solar system. But there's been no change in the orbit of Mars, no change in the orbit of the Earth, no influence at all. These are just manufactured fears Comet Elenin is just the most recent in this phenomenon of people's fear of the cosmos. They're afraid of things that are happening. Of course, the big story is they're afraid of this fictional planet Nibiru that doesn't exist, that's supposed to do damage to us in December of 2012. There's a whole mythology here, and none of it is based on fact. It's all fantasy. It's all wild speculation, and it's a shame that people are afraid of it. Let me just conclude by mentioning the issue of credibility. Some websites say that you can't believe the government or NASA that we are hiding objects like Nibiru or the brown dwarf with Elenin. And this is just really crazy to a scientist because we know that the science comes from the academic community. There are very few scientists who work for the government. Most of the telescopes are operated by universities. Even NASA's Hubble telescope is operated by a university team. It's the other way around. The scientists provide the information to NASA, not the reverse. And if you can imagine trying to silence 100,000 astronomers who with their telescopes could be tracking Nibiru or Elenin or any of these fictitious objects, I can tell you, you couldn't keep six astronomers quiet with an order from the government, let alone 100,000. 
There's no conspiracy here. There's no danger from Comet Elenin. There's no danger in 2012. I'm sorry that people get upset by it, but believe me, while there are plenty of real problems in the Earth, they don't come from the sky. Thanks for listening.